Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest took a seven-year hiatus from the music business, and now she says she's walking in her purpose and power and using her gifts to uplift the people, honey. Please welcome the pretty girl herself who rocks yes. Grammy-nominated Carrie Hilson. Yes. Amazing. Yes, Thank so you. I don't want to sit on the pillow there. Well, that's all right. Let's it's, pick it's that up real comfortable. Good. Yeah, it comfortable. is. I might our, be, let's take our sweet time and I might be yes. too high if I sit on the and get cute. <laughs> Hey girl, hey! Hey girl, hey! You're actually doing with this new Aww. dark hair. Thank you. It's very sophisticated. Thank you. Now you took off, Carrie, for seven years yes. at the height yes. of your career. Not chilling, but at the height. Mm. Yeah. Now, first of all, why did you take off? But how important was it for you personally to take off? Yeah. Well, the reason I, you know, it was, I was just going through a really dark period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going yeah. through a dark period, um, mostly personally, coming out of a long 11 year relationship, mm -hmm. could not deal, just, you know, it, it kind of spiraled, life spiraled for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's important Especially when you do music, you yeah. want to be in a good space. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so much of what we do as artists, as performers, is giving. Yes. Yes. And if you're depleted, you're not giving. And, mm -hmm. and, and when you're putting on, it's not authentic. And I just believe in being authentic to how I truly feel. You know what I mean? Yes. So if I have nothing to give, I, I prefer to wait until I'm full again. <laughs> yeah. That's real talk. Yeah, that's you know. really good. Yeah. Um, We've seen you, you've had two very public relationships, and now you've completely chosen to be single. Mm -hmm. uh, was it a, a hard decision for you to make, and what are you doing to mm -hmm. kind of heal during this time? Um, no, it's not a hard decision to make. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> message. Well, because, yeah, message. <laughs> but no, because I, I've always taken long spurts in between relationships. Mm -hmm. Like my after the 11-year relationship, it was two years, then after the... Uh, a three-year relationship, it was uh, a year and a half, almost, yeah, a little, almost two years. Mm -hmm. And so I just, I don't, I don't engage. I, I think that it's really important to, again, fill me back up with me yes, and yes. fall in love with myself yes, again. Yes. You know, I'm such a giver. I'm such a, like, I'm like, that kind of lover, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where well, I go all body. in, I put my whole body, mm -hmm. and I, yeah. I, I have to learn to not, you know, allow myself to be veered from my purpose. Mm. Balance. I like that. I've got to learn the balance mm -hmm. because I fall madly in love, I and a lot. I, I tend She's to date men. I am. I yeah. really am. Well, you're a writer. I really am. It, it comes natural, you know. You're I a think, and a phenomenal writer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think it's a creative. Yes. Side of me. Now, Carrie, speaking of like your hiatus yeah. and. and Seven years, synonymous yeah. to also some depression that you experienced. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us about how you kind of went into that depression and then some of the techniques that you used to kind of bring yourself out of that depression. Sure. Um, yeah, so the the seven years, what was the first question? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, girl, how you get depressed how you get out? Okay. <laughs> I was just saying, because that's a, it's a lot of years to sum up. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of pain, it's a lot of different um, angles to it. But the depression, it was you know, what spawned it was really that that eleven year relationship, um, you know, him being a soulmate and, and mm. trying to pick myself back up. Mm -hmm. um, then I just lost passion, life went completely silent. I wouldn't wow. listen to music. I wouldn't hum in the shower. Mm. I wouldn't sing. I, I my life was radio silent yeah. for probably two years. Yeah. I wouldn't know any records or any artists that was going on. I didn't know. Wow. I, I did create yeah. when I could, mm -hmm. but it was a really rough time. Um, one of the biggest things that I found that during my deepest, darkest days and would be when the days when I would give back. I would go visit the juvenile detention center here mm -hmm. in Atlanta for the girl for young girls, teenagers. Um, my trips to Africa, I would only accept like international shows and things that I could double that trip as philanthropy right, and, and give right. back to people. So that yeah. I think that was a big part mm -hmm. of putting back into my turning yeah. point was yeah. being able to. So your therapy was you helping others yeah. to be able to pour into others yeah. in a positive way. And I would say that's yeah. a real that's real good advice for anyone else dealing with depression out there. Like, 